Welcome to section 25 of the parasites. This is our overview figure showing the parasites you need to know for step one. In this lecture, we will be talking about one of the trematodes, Clonorchis sinensis. Our story occurs in a place with a makeshift soccer field. The game is actually a charity event for cancer patients. Unfortunately, they picked a bad place to have the charity soccer game. Clones of orcs have infested this forest for quite some time, so these players should have known better by now. Anyways, clones of orcs sounds like Clonorchis, as in Clonorchis sinensis. So when you think of these clones of orcs, think Clonorchis. Clonorchis sinensis is one of the trematodes. For this reason, we have added a bunch of toads to this tree here. Tree with toads for trematodes. As you can see, this orc has found this pond of water with fish in it. He must have been hungry because he's bitten right into it without even cooking it. Then again, he's an orc, so it makes sense that he would just eat something raw like that. Anyways, this represents the fact that Clonorchis sinensis is transmitted through undercooked fish. Now here's that makeshift soccer goal right here. You can see two large stones stacked on top of each other to create each goalpost. And then there's a wooden bar on the top to complete the goal frame. Too bad this orc clone is here. He's clearly ruining the game. Anyways, these goal stones represent gallstones. Clonorchis sinensis can infect the biliary tract and cause pigmented gallstones. And you can see that these stones have those pigments on them. So again, pigmented goal stones for pigmented gallstones. Now look at these people here, just innocently trying to collect bananas from this banana tree. They are volunteering to collect bananas to sell for cancer patients. That's why they're wearing those pink ribbons on their shirts. We like to use pink ribbons as symbols of hope and awareness when people have cancer. So these ribbons represent cancer. In prior images, the banana tree has represented the biliary tree, or gallbladder. I want to draw your attention in this image to the pole that they are using. They use this to pull down this bushel of bananas. This yellow pole emphasizes that we're dealing with the bile ducts associated with the gallbladder. This is a very important distinction because Clonorchis sinensis causes cholangiocarcinoma, which is cancer of the bile ducts, not necessarily the gallbladder itself. For this reason, these cancer awareness volunteers are reaching with yellow poles to reach the bananas. So again, pink ribbons on people using poles to reach bananas stands for cancer of the bile ducts, or cholangiocarcinoma. As I mentioned before, there was a good soccer game going on here, and the family of these young soccer players are ticked that the cloned orc just barged into the game and stopped it. In response, the angry parents are throwing all their pretzels at the orc. There's no better way to express your frustration at a sporting event than throwing a pretzel. Anyways, these pretzels represent praziquantel, which is the treatment for Clonorchis sinensis. And that completes the image, so now let's do a question to apply what you've learned. A 64-year-old male with a two-month history of recurrent right upper quadrant abdominal pain presents to a gastroenterologist for evaluation. The patient states the pain is worse after he eats and then recedes an hour later. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP, is recommended to evaluate the biliary tract. During the procedure, the physician identifies dark stones and removes them. A picture of the procedure is shown below. Additional evaluation suggests the patient's pain was due to a helminth infection. Which of the following is true regarding the infectious organism? A, transmitted via fish, treated with praziquantel, B, transmitted via fish, treated with albendazole, C, transmitted via pork, treated with praziquantel, or D, transmitted via pork, treated with albendazole. Hopefully from the question stem, you notice that this patient has pigmented gallstones, which you can see right here. Also, they are described as dark, and the clinical scenario is consistent with gallstones. There is colicky right upper quadrant pain, or pain that comes and goes. And we are told the stones and colicky right upper quadrant pain are due to a helminth infection. Helminth just means worm parasite or basically all of the parasites besides the protozoa and the ectoparasites. In any case, which helminth causes pigmented gallstones? That would be Clonorchis sinensis. With that in mind, which of the following statements is true? That would be choice A. It's transmitted via fish and treated with praziquantel. Recall these cloned orcs invading the area. One is eating raw fish right here. This is to help you remember that this parasite is transmitted through undercooked fish. Next, we see this cloned orc knocking over those pigmented gallstones ruining the soccer game representing pigmented gallstones, which we see in our patient. And the treatment for this parasite is praziquantel, represented by those pretzels. So it's transmitted via fish and treated with praziquantel. Now choice B is wrong because albendazole is not a part of the treatment regimen. It's just praziquantel. And choice C is wrong because this describes the transmission and treatment for intestinal tania cilium, or intestinal tapeworm. Finally, choice D is wrong because clonorchis is not transmitted by pork, and it's not treated with albendazole. And with that, you've learned all the details you need to know about Clonorchis sinensis.